Hi, I'm Ray. You'll be seeing me on a brand new reality series called Good Game Asia. We've got 15 up-and-coming gaming content creators from around the region battling it out for a yup.gg ambassadorship and other attractive prizes totaling $200,000. Who will be crowned Asia's top gaming superstar? Will it be any of these three contenders you're about to meet? Hello, I'm Ryan or Panda TV. So I'll try and sum up some of the things that I really like. I like card stuff. I collect a lot of cards, uh, Pokemon, Magic, sports cards, uh, all that sort of stuff. This is where I stream from. Uh, that's my green screen. It costs about three dollars to make. It's just green paper, linen stuff on the wall. Um, I don't really have one of those like fancy setups where everything's all crazy and stuff. I have a mouse pad that's pretty dirty and chips all over my desk. <laughs> we have a lot of board games in the house. We play a lot of board games. Uh, we enjoy them. There is two dogs and three cats in the house. This is Coda. Coda usually is really scared of me or just runs away all the time. Hey Coda, we friends today? Nope. Okay, I tried. I'm Ryan. Um, I play World of Warcraft for a living, so I don't really know how I'm going to go on any of these challenges. But uh, I'm old, so if you're old or fat, vote for me, because we need to stick together. Hiya! I'm Rebixco, but you can call me Rebby for short. And I'm a cosplayer and content creator from the Philippines. I play a lot of games, but I mostly spend my time on Genshin Impact, League of Legends, and Valorant. I started streaming and creating content about two years ago to help cope with the pandemic, but I've been cosplaying ever since I was 15 years old. The characters I cosplay come from the games and shows I like, and it's always such a fun experience to be able to express myself through makeup, costumes, and acting, and really bring my favorite characters to life. I spend most of my time in my room, working on videos and building figurines or model kits, and when I go outside, I play with my dogs Hachiko and Haruko. I also have a love-hate relationship with my hobbies, mostly because they break the bank. And trust me, there is not a lot in the bank. But despite that, I still love trying new things, and I think we should all try to explore the things that we find cool, and empower each other to do the same. As long as it isn't hurting anyone, do what makes you happy. Hello, this is Magnu. I'm EX League of Legends comp competition pro player. <clears throat> and I know you, you don't, you are not interested about it, okay. Uh, let's talk about interesting. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be the playmaker. I'm gonna make big topic and issue for positive stuff. So I hope to see you guys. Keep eyes open on me, please. Baby shark, do do do. Baby shark, do do do. Baby shark, do do do. See you around. Bye. So what must these gamers do to get ahead in a world where gaming meets reality? Each week, we'll take the contestants through a series of challenges meant to test their limits. How will the gamers fare in the Get Real Challenge when they have to leave the comforts of being behind their own screens? Who will shine in The Box, our gaming arena where players show off their gaming skills? Or will the streamers sidle into top spot as they engage their audience throughout the week in a streaming challenge we call On Air. Gaming changed my life in, in ways that these days I can't even imagine. I'm 36 now and I can say that I've traveled the world a couple of times because of gaming. Uh, I come from a very probably different background than a lot of other people. Both my parents went to prison uh, when I was a very, very young age and uh, they went to prison multiple times. And uh, I literally didn't have any family. I didn't have anywhere to go. I actually ended up pretty much saving my life because I was able to do stuff like that. I think I've gotten into gaming maybe as young as four or five years old. I got started into gaming 25 years ago because my daddy had a PC bang. Growing up, I was surrounded by boys, specifically my brother and the other neighborhood kids. So they would always be playing on things like their Game Boys and things like that. And I would just kind of follow. And from then on, I upgraded to computer shops, to getting my own laptop, to finally getting my own computer. I love gaming because I love competition. Action. 
if I wasn't a gamer, I think I'd kind of be a tryhard at everything else. Because when I was in school, I was top of my class. I was in every single club. I was captain of the football team. I was the chairperson of the big team. I was in the school newspaper. I got into pageantry, modeling. I don't know what I'd be doing. Oh, uh, I don't wanna think about it. My dream job was to be a youth worker. I wanted to look after troubled teenagers and maybe kids that uh, have been through a little bit about what I've been through in my life growing up. I think I'm pretty friendly. I'm warm. I got a couple of tattoos and I like music and I play video games. There you go. <laughs> I am patient and impulsive and nice. I think I don't like confrontation. The majority of my tattoos are about a thing called straight edge. So I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't do any drugs because I saw what drugs and alcohol do to people growing up. And uh, yeah, the X uh, is sort of what represents uh, straight edge. Usually people get a little bit shocked because they think that it's uh, quite the opposite. But, yeah. I want to be everybody's friend. Do you guys have like a bleep? Button. I've got one on my mixer, but I don't know if I can bring that with me. Usually people go to left way. I love to go to right way. This is my special character. Not gonna lie, the esports players. I'm 36, so I'm going to just assume that I'm probably the oldest person on the show, um, which might make me more relatable. Being an esports player, you have this hand-eye coordination, you have very good analytical skills, you're strategic and things like that. So even when it comes to real life, I feel like whatever challenge we might do, the esports players are going to crush us. I am pro cyber warrior. You have to worry about me. I don't worry about you. What I can share and what I can show people is my experience and where I've come from. Uh, and what I've been through in my life to where I'm at now. I'd like the audience to see the real me, the genuine me. I want to show my creative side. Nothing. Just, just, just watch my fantastic play. So don't pause, press play, and catch Good Game Asia on all social media channels starting June 10th.